Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to uh, Apollo Justice Ace Attorney Trilogy. This is episode 61. Turnabout Revolution... Um, I don't know. Spiritual Mediums? What? What is the episode name? Final Trial? That's what we named it? Okay. Final Trial! How's everybody doing? Um, slight baby migraine starting, so... I'm gonna pull through all the stops as best I can, but... I can't imagine why I'd be stressed. I have a lovely wife, and I have cats, and I have, uh... I have an evil landlord, and maybe the landlord caused it. Probably. I'm blaming the landlord. So baby migraine is starting. How are you doing? You could just get a bowl that way. Every time you put your little hand in the bag, it doesn't... I'm just saying. That's what that's what I do when I have like. Uh. Does this say Nintendo Switch? Really? NS. Oh. Oh yeah, that's not NS. Why does it say NS? Um, nothing. Don't worry about it. Alright, so anyway, guys and gals, um, 100 likes is your goal for this stream. I should be right as rain for this and, um, Lego, but I think Amber's gonna tackle your 11 o'clock stream tonight. And then I'll do that weird sandlot thing tomorrow. Well, Yeah. Uh, what are we doing again? Episodes. Right, we're on... The sandlot movie. Sandlot? Wasn't that that classic movie where those kids played baseball? And yeah. They had the makeup person. No. So Sandland is actually it takes place in uh, the Dragon Ball universe. In fact, uh, the guy from oh, what's his face? The devil guy in red uh, and blue with the cape who had a Majin Buu symbol on Janemba? his head. No, not Janemba. No. No. What was his name? The Doria? No. I can't remember his name, but anyway. Dorimon? Not Dorimon. Starts with a D. And that guy is the devil king of this universe or whatever, but basically it connects to Toriyama's Dragon Ball universe because it has that character in it. Um, and I think you play as his son or something. I don't know. Thank you for the super chat, Justo. Oh, it's called The Cruel Truth. That, that's a better thing. Time for my favorite series with the best voice actors. Thank you, Justo. You're breathtaking. Thank you so much. Cruel. Cruel trial. Cruel oh. fate. I don't know. I don't even know if I spelled cruel right. <sighs> I think uh, you did. What is this called? Lawyer theory dumb. No, I think me using the stove gave you my <sighs> It is what it is. I'm going to soldier through two, two streams. Um, thank you guys so much for watching the upload, by the way. Um, really appreciate that. I managed to film most of that yesterday and some today. So I appreciate you guys watching that. Thank you. Anyway, lawyers, Yay! dump third. Terry. Oh. Uh, she has Skeletor for a face. Awkward. I love the house video, says William. Mm. Where's our thing? Thank you, William. Deal with the thing. Thank you, honey. <laughs> now I shall destroy your utterly absurd and barbarous theory. Okay. And my name is Apollo Justice, and I'm fine. I was not anywhere near the tomb following the murder. Hmm. Were your theory correct, I would have been in the tomb once I had stopped channeling. Unless you decided to channel someone else. My husband Dirk is a killer, but he has fled from this sacred hall. Wait. Yeah, she married Dirk. Then why did she say he's a killer? I don't know. I thought she loved him. I'm so confused. Mm -hmm. May the Holy Mother rain judgment upon the traitor Dirk Sadmati for his crimes. 
How long will you will we have Ace Attorney streams? Until uh, it's done. Probably till the 26th when we start a new series. Until I, we're done with the case. Yeah, I mean the game might last until the 26th. It all depends. Like usually it's every other day. It all depends on how adamant the people watching are able to get up to a thousand views. Oh, she was lied to, Don? Okay, thank you for explaining that. Dun, dun, dun. I was like, why would she call out her own husband? That's so rude. Yes, such a marvelous testimony. You are truly a treasure, your mercifulness. Mercifulness. This, too, is but by the grace of her holiness. No doubt my unmasking here today was her, her will as well. Hair will. Her will, she's German was now. Her will as well. Her, 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 uh, Sprachen Sie, De no, wait, no, that's Russian. Yeah, Sprachen Sie Deutsch. Sprachen Sie Deutsch is German? Yeah, that's how you spell it. Do you yeah! Do you speak German? No, I do not speak Sprech German. Sprechen Sie Deutsch, I think is how you say, do you speak German? Wow, why do I know that? Oh, from Wolfenstein. That's why. Brain. No doubt my unmasking here today was her will as well. My! The Holy Mother, you say? Mm. Yes, surely her holiness has guided me to this witness stand. Deborah! Wait, was Amber right? What? Did you say Deborah? No. Oh. Surely her holiness has guided me to this witness stand. And to the purity of truth. There's a tiger there. Why does it look like a cartoon tiger? Is this like a parody of um, I thought, Snow White? I thought you don't like ad lib. Oh, why can't I take the picture? Oh, I wanted to take the picture. It won't let me because it's got that weird pause thing on it. That's stupid. Oh, well. Oh, well, magnificent, magnificent Queen Amada, the Holy Mother's messenger here on Earth. Praise be to Queen Amara, blessings upon her. Where did those animals even come from? Yes, now then, the defense may question the witness and the animals, but remember, she is a grand priestess, so disrespect... Remember... She's a grand priestess, so disrespect will not be tolerated. That means no pointing out conflicts, inconsistencies, or any other flaws in her testimony. What? what? How's that going to work? Uh, but she can't be perfect. She's a person. Is that tiger going to eat us? Now I shall destroy your utterly absurd and barbarous theory. Hold it. Barbarous. Oh, yeah. My theory is utterly absurd and barbarous? And high-handed, if I may say so. Nayuda was right to call you a putrid-minded lawyer. Surely even the monkeys of Mount Pony Pony's holy waterfalls could devise a better theory. Wow, she is savage. I thought they said she was nice. Surely you can steal better insults than Nayuda's best. Oh, that's where he got it from. Now then, to all of you gathered in this sacred hall, need I remind you? Ah. I was not anywhere near the tomb, following the murder, of course. Ding. I Wait, did I do that? Yeah, well, maybe you're hiding inside the sarcophagus then. You know, there. Hi. After all, it does technically belong to you. That's weird. I bet you have no trouble opening it either. Why would you have a key to your own sarcophagus? If I had been there, I could not be here today. For the tomb has been under constant surveillance since the murder. Is she drinking tea? Maybe she's drinking spiritual tea. I would never have been able to leave. I'm I'm drinking tea though. Remember, guys and gals, to get those likes up. We're at 50 likes, nine minutes into the stream. So let's rally the likes, ladies and gentlemen. There's 70 of you guys in here. You can easily get that number up, 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 up. That way, Amber and I can focus on bringing these characters to life for you. Oh yeah. Now, I guess not. 
Um, if I might ask, by the way, what's in the sarcophagus anyway? You're still alive, so... There is despair, sadness, hatred, and malice. Only one brave enough to see the truth hidden deep within. Could discover the final hope, my continued corporeality. You're what? You completely lost me. In other words, it's empty. But no one dared to open it because they were too scared of a curse. Now, will you dispense with your theory? It is as empty as my sarcophagus. Wow. That's, that's kind of mean. Were your theory correct, I would have been in the tomb. I would have been in the tomb once I stopped channeling. <clears throat> I'll admit you weren't in the tomb after the murder. Very good, but that truth refutes your theory. Even if I channeled Mr. Inga, I mean Minister Inga, hmm. and entered the tomb, the moment I ceased channeling him, I would have re-emerged at the crime scene. That is true. Precisely. As you said yourself, Defense, Queen Amara was not there after the murder. The only living souls in the tomb at the time were Dirk and Maya Fey. Uh. But be it in this life or the next, there is no escaping such simple truths. Amber's really getting into this character. It's helping me do the voice. Okay. My husband, Dirk, is the killer. Oh. Hold on a second. There must be a reason why he had to make his escape today. A reason? Ah, oh, perhaps. Perhaps what? Perhaps to conceal himself and lie in wait for another chance to claim my life. What's this? But you're not the queen anymore. No, 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 it's definitely not like that, your mercifulness. First of all, you don't really believe he's trying to kill you, do you? After all, you two ran off together after he rescued you all those years ago. That was only because he had the audacity to claim it wasn't me. You must believe me. <laughs> it was my duty as a wife to her husband. To bend an ear to him, was it not? Okay. Communication after disagreement is the secret to a long and happy marriage. Yeah, I agree to that. I'm bad at communication, though. Um, I guess? I'm not married. What do you think, Mr. Wright? Uh, don't ask me. <laughs> I'm not married either. That is why I listened to Dirk, you see. However, he didn't have a shred of evidence to support his claim. It grieves me to admit it, but my husband truly did try to murder me. That's quite enough. Ow. I got bit by something. It's abundantly clear that Queen Amada's testimony is flawless. Ouch! Oh, do you understand now, lawyer? What is... I'm trying to do my thing and I got pricked somewhere. Ah! This is bad. The judge isn't going to let me cross-examine her much longer. Amara shouldn't have been in the tomb after the minister's murder. Wait, no. She should have been in the tomb after the minister's murder, but she wasn't. I don't get it. How did she just vanish from the scene of the crime like that? It should be possible for normal people to... I mean, it shouldn't be possible for normal people to. For normal people. Ah! Maybe. Maybe what? I'm getting to that. Your Majesty, I think I can explain why Queen Amara wasn't there in the tomb after the murder. Pretty well, Defense. Please do explain. 
I believe it was accomplished through a method only she is capable of. And by using this special method, it would be possible for her to literally disappear. Well then, don't keep us waiting. Let's hit it. How did Queen Amara disappear from the tomb? Hmm. What in the world? Uh... How did she disappear from the tomb? Uh... I don't know. She hid in the sarcophagus. She clung to the ceiling. She channeled someone else. Well, my gut instinct is going to say she channeled someone else. All right, everybody's saying save before. All right, if you guys are going to say save before, get those likes up. You're now 15 minutes in and only at 68 likes. Ow, ow. So I'm doing, I'm doing the save thing. Oh, it's called Cruel Truth. I had written as Cruel Fate. That doesn't make any sense. Cruel Truth. She said he didn't have a shred of evidence to support that he didn't try to kill her. But... Did I save? But nobody had a shred of evidence to say that he did try to kill her either. Uh, that's true. Alright, we saved she hid in the sarcophagus. She channeled someone. She clung to the ceiling like a ninja. If I came home and I was and I was sleeping and the house was burning down while I was sleeping and you went out to get groceries and you told me you didn't do it, I would I would believe you, sweetheart. Because you have a good heart. I have a fear of fire. That's probably why you would have left. Yes, Probably. <laughs> All right, she channeled someone else. Here's here's how you can help yourself in a fire. Okay, keep yourself low to the ground. Oh my gosh. Um, use water to dampen a cloth and put it over your face so you can limit the amount of smoke, and then try to get out the door. There, there you go. I've I've saved your life in the future. Okay. Okay. Thank you for the highlighted message, Papa's Cruise. Says, I'm gonna say love the K wings, and hope to be a mod one day. I know your mod stuff is full. Ah! I love you guys. Keep up the good work. Oh! Why? Thank you, Papa's Cruz. You're breathtaking. Thank you for being a member for uh, seven months. Unbelievable, Papa's Cruz. Thank you so much for your generosity and for your love and support. We love you back, Papa's Cruz. You're breathtaking. Thank you so much for your kind words. Little Link, you are a traitor. You you can't step on me and then go over to Amber. That's not how this works. And you yelled out. You let out a yell. He's wondering why you yelled at him. He stepped on a what, place. Is that, poor, is that big man yelling at you? It's not. <sighs> I can't believe him. Can you believe he was just climbing on you were just climbing on him? I have to start wearing to a save. cup to work. Thank you, Papa's Cruise, you're breathtaking! Alright, she channeled somebody. Going once, going twice, hooray. <laughs> All she had to do was channel someone. Then she could easily disappear from the scene of the crime. After all, she would literally be someone else. Why I believe that actually makes sense? Right! What do you have to say about that, Queen Amara? You believe that I, a Grand Priestess, would use the sacred power of spirit channeling to commit murder? Oh my gosh! What just happened? Whoa! 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 whoa, whoa. What? <laughs> Mercy, your mercifulness! Uh, I'm too young to die. Uh, what just happened? Is every queen in this country crazy? Uh, I think so, Luke. Except for Rafa. She's just uh, a little high school. <clears throat> How dare you such vile blasphemy, defense! You never... Uh, you'll, you'll, uh, 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 you'll retract your statement or face immediate execution! Um... Uh... No, good magistry. It is quite all right. Quranism also teaches that we must respond at all times with reasoned principle. 
Therefore, I shall offer a measured response to his blasphemous accuse accusation. Um, you have something to counter with? Indeed. Now, are you listening? It would not have been possible to simply vanish by means of spirit channeling. After all, it would require a deceased person to channel. However, there was only one murder victim in the tomb. Unless there was more than one. And that was Minister Inga. The only others there right after his murder were Dirk and Miss Faye. Ah. Had I channeled Inga as you allege, well, the outcome would have been quite odd, to say the least. For there, beside the dead minister, a living, breathing one would have appeared. That's true. Even if I had been in the tomb, there was no one to channel except the deceased minister. Why is the screen flickering? What are you guys talking about? The screen's not flickering. It flickered when she... It flickered when she went crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Even if I had been in the tomb, there was no one to channel except the deceased minister. So you see, I could not have vanished by means of spirit channeling. <laughs> Girk, that's true, but you know, I can't rule it out yet. Um, because, well, uh, what if there was another victim? Someone we haven't identified yet. How absurd. If you channeled someone other than Minister Inga, you could have used their identity to dis disappear from the tomb. Another? Another victim? Queen Amara. Please add your last statement to your testimony. This could explain everything. I'm lost, Apollo. Wasn't there some sign of another victim there in the tomb? And yet, why do I sense I'm not going to like what I'm about to find out? Minister Inga was the sole victim. There was no other spirit to channel until he was dead. Hmm. All right, guys, you're almost at 80. Keep going. Hold it. What if there was another victim besides the minister? What on earth could you mean? The only body found in the tomb was the minister's. Yeah, but, um... Amara's counter-arguments are, are, are too spot-on for us to rebuttal. Yeah, actually, there is one possibility. What's the matter, Apollo? That's one heck of a face you're making. Oh no, it's nothing, really. And yet, that means... Huh? My husband, Dirk, is the killer, but he has fled from this sacred hall. Minister Inga was the sole victim. There was no other spirit to channel until he was dead. I don't know. I have, I think we need to present the blood stain. Alright, let me get my time code up. Mm -hmm. Stop with my grammar, you two. Present blood stain. Kitty! That's right, Henry. Kitty likes it. Tiger! So this is here we go. He's a tiger. Mm -hmm. He's a little M on his forehead, like Majin Boo. Majin. Kitty. Majin. Boo. Yeah, I don't, here we go. Objection. Well, the music stopped. <clears throat> I can't believe I'm presenting this, but it proves that there has 
but it proves that there was another victim. Still, the only ones there at the scene of the crime were... Maya. Dirk. No, it can't be. Would the defense care to share something with the rest of the class? Uh... Queen Amara. You knew, didn't you? Whatever are you talking about? If you won't tell this court, then I will. Well, don't keep us waiting. This case includes a second victim. One of the two people found alive in the tomb after the minister's murder. Was actually already dead. But a second victim, Apollo? Queen Amara, after you channeled Minister Inga and moved to the tomb, you vanished from the scene of the crime by channeling the other victim. That explains why... Wow. That explains why no one found you after the murder was discovered. Oh, you putrid pepper. Of all the half-witted buffoonery to come tumbling from your lips. But suppose I indulge you and play along with your little delusion. Tell me, Mr. Justice, who was the other victim? <sighs> well, Dirk said he was dying. Maybe it was him. There's no way this can be true. But... No, it can't... I can't stop now. If this is the truth, it's the only way forward to solving this case. The other victim who Queen Amara channeled was... Listen, son. Even if you manage to prove me innocent tomorrow. I, uh, I don't have long to live. There's no escaping death now that it has its sights on me. Dirk knew everything. But he couldn't bring himself to tell me. I have one more big secret. I'm afraid I can't tell you what it is, though. I'd be betraying a certain someone if I did. He couldn't accuse the love of his life. The sad truth is, the other victim channeled by Amara was... Take that! What? You can't! That's not possible! The defendant, Dirk Sadmati, is the one Queen Amara channeled. He's the other victim! This is insanity! Oh god, surprise! Apollo, mm. what are you even... Do you realize what you're proposing? Objection. I demand an explanation, Mr. Justice! I don't know when or why, but Dirk was murdered. But the facts and evidence speak for themselves. And this... This is why... This is where they've led me. I see, after Inga's murder, Dirk and Maya were the only ones in the tomb. But if one of them was already dead and being channeled by Amara... But it can't be, can it? Dirk's bloodstain at the scene of the crime was the clincher for me. Mm. He wasn't even injured, so how could he have possibly bled that much? Mm, that's right. Inter yeah, how would he bleed that much if he was injured? The only logical explanation is Dirk had also been murdered. Objection. That's enough! You ex explanation cannot be the truth! And you would not dare to claim to have proof to support your assertion! Nayuda, I wish it weren't true. I wish with all my heart that I'm wrong. But as much as I don't want to believe it, yes, I can prove it. Dirk's killer must have hidden his body. It would have to be somewhere nobody would ever look. And there is only one such place. You're truly, 
you have proof? The fastest way would be to actually have someone go check the tomb. This is getting dramatic! Go check the tomb? But why? Because I believe Dirk's killer hid his body here. Yeah, it would have to be the sarcophagus. You would suggest. Queen Amara sarcophagus, the only place in the tomb that one would dare to look. Plus, the killer would soon become trapped by hiding in there. But a body? Well, that's a horse of a different color. Which means... Ugh. I believe we must search the sarcophagus at once. Your eminence! Being the Queen Amara yet lives, I trust we may now open it. If we must. Your Majesty, I believe Detective Sky is still there at the tomb. Let us contact her at once and have her conduct a full investigation into the matter. Amara doesn't seem to care. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like Amara's the killer. Now then, Detective Sky, your report, if you please. I'll start with my findings. Here we go. Please, please, please. Why do you want him to be dead? The dude's your dad, guy. All right, guys, we are um, 30 <laughs> minutes into the stream. We're still under 100 likes. Let's get those likes up. We're going to build up dramatic tension. I guess he wants to prove that Dirk is innocent. How would him being dead prove he's innocent? I mean, it would prove he didn't kill anyone, because how could he kill somebody if he was already... <laughs> I don't know. At least it would get him and Ace Attorney off of the chopping block. Please, 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 please. Please let me be wrong about this. Oh. I just want things to be as they were. He doesn't want it to be that way. I mean, Maya could always channel him, and you could go on fishing trips. Uh, that'd be kind of wow. weird. I'm just saying. I mean, it's possible. A search of the sarcophagus revealed a body that appeared to be several days old. Mm, a body? D -d Detective Sky, tell me it wasn't Dirk. Tell me my whole theory was completely off base. I have a photo of the body, and I have a positively identified as... Dirk Sadmati. He is dead. Dirk! No! That's terrible. Why? Why did this have to happen? Darn it, Dirk! Answer me! Oh, the fade out is... Oof. How can this be? <laughs> the traitorous snake, the very head of the insurgency, murdered. Oh, what a joyous day! Those fools shouting for change and revolution will finally return to whatever rocks they crawled out from under. <laughs> <laughs> to laugh when somebody died, pretty messed up. No. Who? What? Was I even fighting for, Apollo? What am I supposed to do now? Wow. Well, 
I mean, I figured he was dead. That's terrible. And if the queen ends up being evil, then Sudmati ended up doing this job forever for no reason because I don't. I don't think that. I don't think Amara killed him. I think she did. No, Who I else don't. Would have killed him? I think that what's her name killed her. How could he? She I think the evil queen's responsible. How? I thought she was outside the whole time. I don't know. What am I fighting for? I, I... I don't even know what I'm fighting for. Son! Oh my gosh. How's it going? I'm a ghost now. A lawyer. Should never look the way you do right now. A dragon never yields. Even when wounded, a dragon bites down hard, and never lets go till its dying breath. It glares, it roars, it latches its jaws firmly onto its prey, till the bitter end. That's what lawyers do to get to the truth. Hmm. Interesting. But Dirk, what if the truth is that you're... Apollo, court tomorrow. You may find yourself faced with a truth that's difficult to accept. But I know you, and I know you can handle the truth, no matter what it turns out to be. I know that because I believe in you. You're my son, after all. Oof. You believed in me so much, Dirk. Wait, does that mean there was a spirit channeler who saved him from drowning, or that was a real him? It was a real him. He only died three days ago. Yeah, but they were only back in the country. Dirk, I think I finally understand. I can't yield. Not now. Not ever. After all... Dirk believed in me despite knowing what this was that this was about to happen. Besides, Dirk left me with two things I must do. Are you alright, kid? Sorry about that, Mr. Wright. But I'm I'm fine now. Apollo? Detective Sky! Oh, y yes? How sure are you that the body's been there for a few days? I'm positive. No autopsy had performed yet, but I'd say it's been at least three days. Unfortunately, the low temperature inside the sarcophagus kept it from, I mean, fortunately, it kept it from decaying. And the chest area bore three gunshot wounds from a small caliber weapon. I believe they are the cause of death. Yes. Cause of death for their gunshot wounds. I mean, I guess you're right. He could have died before we left. Okay, next crazy theory. What if um, the minister and Dirk killed each other? <laughs> mm, I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Maybe. Maybe? Dirk's corpse revealed. At least three days, huh? That means Dirk was already dead by the time he came to visit me back in the States. Okay, that's creepy! What? Then who was channeling him? Must have been Maya. I think it would have to be someone who could get in and stay in the U.S. without arou uh, arousing suspicion. Yeah, it also had a solid cover story so they wouldn't be seen as missing. I believe this is who was channeling Dirk when I saw him in the States. Maya? I guess. The whole time? Take that! Maya? Oh, I see. She was being held hostage at the time, so it seemed only natural that she wasn't around. Right. And do you remember what she said earlier? So please, just tell me, what exactly are you hiding? Sorry, but I promised Dirk I wouldn't say. You made a promise to Dirk? 
Mm-hmm. Pretty big one. Dirk didn't want his own death to be known. The other members of the Defiant Dragons would lose all hope if they found out. And that would snuff out the flames of revolution for good. Miss Faye, Dirk told you to keep quiet about this, didn't he? Oh, uh, oh Maya's still here. I guess it's no use hiding it anymore. Yes, I promised not to tell, Apollo. Dirk made me promise before he died. So, I was right then. Um, Apollo? There's something I need to tell you. It's about, you know, Dirk's final moments. I'm listening, Miss Fay. What happened in his final moments? It was soon after I was kidnapped. Dirk paid me a visit in the tomb where I was being held captive. I'd say it was a few days before Minister Inga's murder. Okay. Hey, young lady, time to get up and uh, out of here, okay? Oh, oh! It's that revolutionary guy. I'm here to rescue you. Y you are? Why? I figured things were a little too quiet with the stamp-sucking scumbag. So I started digging around. That's when I found out you'd been abducted. Why would a rebel help me? Let's go before it's too late. It's already too late for you, pal. <laughs> Long time no see, rebel bloward. Oh, Inga. I knew you were up to something. I'm gonna find out what. Oh! Well, that's not cool. Ah! <laughs> that's got a smart. You become a real thorn in my side, see? So it's time for you to be pushing up daisies. Oh my gosh! Ugh. Dirk! Okay, this is not cool. Ah, uh, did you really think a pea shooter like that? Ugh. Good kill a dragon! What the? Oops. Uh oh. What are you? Some kind of freak? Mm, nuts to this. Uh, did he get to kill him or? Dirk was shot several times, but he barely even flinched. He sacrificed himself for me. Oh yeah, this is this is painful. <laughs> oh, the, these ropes! Uh, I, I've got to help you. Relax, it's gonna be okay. Sorry things turned out this way, but uh, doesn't look like I have much longer. No, don't say that. You're a uh, spirit medium, aren't you? When uh, when I'm gone, I want you to channel my spirit. Stop it! Don't give up like that! If you do, untying a rope like that'll be child's play. No! Uh, please, hang in there! You can still make it! Oh no, nope, not, not happening. I've been shot three times. Nope. Even with that tiny pea shooter, no way. P -p Promise me one thing, though, young lady. It's, uh, about my son. Dirk! Was talking about you, Apollo! He said he wanted to see you one last time, so he asked me to return to the U.S. and channel his spirit. He really said that? Mm-hmm. He also said he's been meaning to visit for years, but kept putting it off. 
and that this was his last chance. Hmm. Wow, you just show up here without warning after all this time? What gives? I came all this way to see your son. Come on, rejoice. Right, why don't you tell me the real reason you're here? Dirk, all this time? You really did come to the U.S. because you wanted to see me. Wait, he didn't come to the U.S. I guess this means, uh, we know where Maya was. It was Inga that hid Dirk's body in the sarcophagus after Maya left the tomb. Apollo! You can't stop now! Dirk would want you to keep pressing on! Hmm. I know, Miss Faye. And I won't disappoint him. Hmm. Defense, if you are ready to proceed, I would first have you answer this. Do you believe the accused's death will impact what we know about this case? Yes, and I believe I can explain everything now. Pretty well. Your explanation, please. I mean, when the case be over, the accused is dead. <laughs> I don't really yeah. understand how any of this works. I don't know. The trial's still going on when the guy that we're defending is already dead. Uh, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what's happening at this point. Uh, well, I mean, he can't get the death penalty because... I, I mean, I mean, uh, what's his name? The both lawyers would be acquitted because, I mean, we don't know who killed the minister, but the minister killed Dirk, who was the main suspect. Um, okay, anyway. Um, guys, we're uh, past the 40-minute mark. It's still not at 100 likes. We gotta get those 100 likes up, so make sure you guys... We need five. I will continue after we hit five more likes to hit 100. Because the views aren't going anywhere. Sorry, but we gotta push, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, engagement. So, uh, get up to 100 likes, guys and gals, and then we'll continue. Who killed the minister, then? Probably a spirit medium. Or... I don't know. Maybe the evil queen did it because she found out her husband was doing a coup and then she blamed the spirit mediums. Who knows? It's going to be a very interesting uh, case, actually. Alright, guys, you're two away. Yep, remember mods, uh, once we hit 100 likes, too, to push for the like goals. Because it, you know, it's the only way that the videos actually succeed with live streams. You can't just watch without engaging with the stream. It dies. It's a very strange case. Alright, guys and gals. Yeah, it says 100 on my end, too. Your next like goal is 120, so let's try to get to 120 in the next 15, 20 minutes. So that uh, the views will go up. Dirk entered the tomb at 3 p.m., the time the hostage exchange was to take place. Hmm. Or rather, Dirk, as channeled by Miss Faye, did. Now, by the time he entered the tomb at 3 p.m., Minister Inga was already dead. I say that because we know the minister was murdered at 2 p.m. Yeah. But there was someone else in there. The person who was already hiding in the tomb, waiting to channel Dirk's... Wow. This was the person who was hiding in the tomb, waiting to channel Dirk in place of Miss Faye. Um, probably the former queen. Yeah, Mara. Mm-hmm. Probably for revenge for her husband, then. I guess. I don't know. It didn't stop the music, though. This might be wrong. It was you, wasn't it? The fact of the matter is Queen Amara killed Minister Inga at 2 p.m. She then went to his private quarters and channeled his spirit. Hmm. The minister, thinking he was going to be late, hurried to the tomb for the hostage exchange. 
But once in the tomb, Queen Amara stopped channeling Minister Inga and hid herself. Then, when Dirk entered at 3 p.m., she snuck up from behind and forcibly drove Dirk's spirit out of Miss Faye's body. Drove his spirit out of her body? Impossible! Objection! No, it's not. Actually, there is a way to do that. With the uh, Magatama of Party, that is. Using one, anyone could drive a spirit out of a person's body, even if it refused to leave. Uh, Are you telling me that extra pale brown Magatama in the tomb was... That it was. That's right, Prosecutor. And you've seen one in action before. You saw how glowy red the Magatama sent uh, the High Priest back to the Twilight Realm. And then afterwards... And how it turned and spent pale brown afterwards. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. In other words, the brown Magatama found in the tomb looks that way because... Its power had been used up in pushing Dirk's spirit out of Miss Faye's body, right? I probably passed out as soon as Dirk's spirit left my body. I was exhausted after channeling him for so long, after all. After that, Queen Amara must have dressed Miss Faye in her usual outfit and tied her up. I'm not sure where she got the outfit, but we can assume that she had it all planned out. Then, Queen Amara must have channeled into Dirk's... Or, sorry. Then the Queen must have changed into Dirk's clothes, smeared blood onto them, and picked up the knife and channeled Dirk's spirit. That's how she made it look like Dirk had committed the crime. Oh my god. That's so disturbing. And that's how she escaped right under our noses. God. Uh. I don't know, Apollo. The whole thing still seems a bit far-fetched. Dirk? What was going through your mind while this was all unfolding? So ultimately, it was all for naught. Huh? Oh wow, that was Nayuda. Oh, that okay. was Nayuda. Um... Ultimately, it was all for naught. Whatever, however he talks. Yeah. Luke can do it. I can kind of do it. All right, here we go. Nayuda, those dreams of revolution Dirk was always spouting. They placed nothing but false hope in the minds of the people, and in the end, they were simply fantasies. Nayuda, how can you? Karma has spoken. The dream of revolution has withered on the vine. Its fate is sealed. The other insurgents will soon wake from their shattered dreams. No, Dirk's dream can't die like this. I'm not going to sit back and let that happen. I can't, and I won't. Neyuda, don't forget that Dirk's been proven innocent. His name is no longer tainted by the charges of murder. Now the rebels and their sympathizers have been calling for his release. Can't be charged with abetting the accused either. So the revolution is far from over. It's only just begun. Objection. No. Dirk has yet to be proven innocent. You have merely indicated the possibility of his innocence. What do you mean? Dirk is indeed dead. However... What if Dirk was the one who killed the minister while being channeled by Miss Faye? And while the crime would have occurred at 2 p.m., you have yet to substantially prove it. Or do you have conclusive proof that the time of the minister Inga's death was at 2 p.m.? Well, no, I don't, but... It seems further testimony will be required of me. As it would appear that I have fallen under suspicion, I would like to state my case. 
Prosecutor Sadmati, the rebellion must be snuffed out once and for all. You must prove Dirk Sadmati to be the foul murderer that he was, and every last insurgent and their sympathizers. Must be found guilty under the Defense Culpability Act. As you wish, Your Eminence. Why is Nayuda doing this? Garan shouldn't have him under her thumb anymore. Amara's not a hostage, so what gives? Nayuda, what's left to chain you to her like this? Nothing. Very well then, Queen Amara. Please proceed with your additional testimony. So many twists and turns. Witness testimony. You have no proof. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. You have no proof. 56 minutes. Is it just me or is the queen with the white hair pretty savage? Mm, I feel like she's evil. I don't think she's evil. I think she is. Okay, you she think she's evil. evil to me. Save. She's just pretending to be good. You think she's pretending to be good? Well, it did show lightning. I mean, that was kind of sus. What is it, tiger? It's falling down. Think you gonna help Amber out? It's okay. I'm in the middle of the street. There you go. You have no proof. Well done, lawyer. You have painted me as a killer with nothing but your silver tongue. However, you have no evidence proving your distasteful theory. Furthermore, Dirk could not. I mean, Dirk could have committed the crime while being chowed by Miss Faye. Now let us end the charade. Come to me, animals. For the eternal glory of Karine and its people. Right. Do you understand now, you putrid pepper? There is no point in defending Dirk any longer. It's all been in vain. Let it go and move on, right? Well, not today. Your theories are but a pillar of salt that crumbles at the slightest breeze. But no more. This ends here and now. The fence may proceed with its cross-examination. You have no proof. That tiger looks weird. Well done, lawyer. You have painted me as a killer. Hold it. Hold it. Convincing others is part of a lawyer's trade, so I'll take that as a compliment. You would, wouldn't you? I suppose you have deceived countless souls with your lies. Wow. But I should not be surprised, considering you learned from him. Ooh. Him? You mean your husband, right? Yes. The man who deceived and seduced me. A grand priestess with his silver tongue. Um, we're still talking about the case, right? Surely you have heard of a lady falling for the wrong man before. Ah, but you think that I of all people would fall under the devil's spell. Wow, how did they ever get together in the first place, let alone have a child? I would advise all here today to beware this lawyer's silver tongue, lest you too be unjustly painted as a criminal as I have been. Mm. However, you have no evidence proving your distasteful theory. Hold it! I admit I don't have any solid evidence yet, but you're the only one who could have committed the crime. What on earth do you mean? Including Miss Faye, there are only three spirit mediums in Karine. 
Furthermore, when the crime scene was first discovered, Queen Garan, that's her, was with me and Mr. Wright, while Miss Faye was tied up in the tomb. That means that Dirk we saw after the minister was murdered could only have been channeled by you, Queen Amara. Insolent lawyer! Eek! Forgive us your mercifulness! Really, your majesty? Objection. Ah, but you have considered the following defense. What if there was an unbeknownst to us another spirit medium in Karine? Objection! Huh? Oh, come on! What are your chances? You lack the evidence to support your claim that Queen Amara is the killer. Which is why you would have to have used the process of elimination to zero in on her. If, therefore, stands to reason that you would have to rule out all other possibilities as well. Well, can you eliminate the possibility of another spirit medium defense? Of course I can't! Under the circumstances, Apollo, there are two ways to establish Amara's guilt. We either prove she killed Inga, or prove that she was in the tomb. Hmm, which can I actually prove? That she was in the tomb. I guess we can prove she was in there. How can we prove... We're yeah. gonna find out. I can prove that Queen Amara was in the tomb when the murder occurred. It seems you are ever bent on painting me as the killer. Well, if the shoe fits. Very well. Let us see some evidence that proves I was at the scene of the crime. Gladly. You do have some, do you not? There is nothing to prove I was even at the scene of the crime. Gotcha. How about your pink butterfly pendant? Oh! Queen Amara. Does this pendant look familiar to you? Why, that is... We found it in the tomb, and it has the minister's blood on it. Which means it was probably dropped in the course of the crime. Objection. And I fail to see how it's relevant to your argument. Did that not belong to the accused? That's what I thought, too. After all, Dirk had said it himself. He said what? Yeah, but it was a lie. Because I believe he was covering for someone. Covering? How? For who? There is a certain piece of evidence that shows the pendant isn't Dirk's. Uh... Well, I would say... It doesn't show her wearing a necklace. Uh... Um, wasn't... Yeah, on his photo, he has his own version of the pendant. Ew, would... His body's all messed up. I would do that. His blue butterfly pendant proves that it wasn't his. Okay. Does he... Why would he wear two necklaces? That's a photo of the cute body, is it not? Yeah, it is. And I'd like to call your attention to a certain spot in it. This right here proves that the pendant was found in the tomb that wasn't Dirk's. The blue pen. Hmm. This is creepy. You'll notice an object near Dirk's left arm. It's identical pendant except it's blue. Oh, yes, now that you mention it, it's very lovely. Right. Don't you find that a little strange, though? Why would he own two of them, but in different colors? Here's what I think. The pennants were meant to go together as a pair. A pair? If the blue pennant was Dirk's, 
Then what about this pink one with Minister Inga's blood on it? Who do you suppose it belongs to? I will protect my mother. Sorry to disappoint, but... No fingerprints were found on the pink pendant. Therefore, we have no way of knowing it to whom it belongs. Objection! I don't need fingerprints, idiot. But that's where you're <laughs> wrong, prosecutor. I'm guessing you didn't know that this pendant is actually a locket. Come again? That's right, fool. Now this is where it gets interesting. <laughs> When we open up this locket... Oh, looky here! We found a faint finger fingerprint inside on the back of the lid, to be exact. What? No! Mommy! <laughs> so now the question is, to whom does the fingerprint belong? <laughs> oh no... Any wild guesses, bro? Queen Amara! It belongs to you, doesn't it? It seems I've uh, truly rendered the witness speechless this time around. Ha <laughs> ha! This is... cannot be! Mommy, tell me it does not belong to you! Uh, Nayuta, I... Think about it, Queenie. Dirk must have realized that you were channeling his spirit. And he probably had already figured out who the minister's killer was. And yet, he still claimed that the pink pennant belonged to him. But why would he do such a thing? You really don't know? He was protecting you. Because he loved you. He loved you until his very last breath and beyond. I have one more big secret. I'm afraid I can't tell you what it is. I'd be betraying a certain someone if I did. Mm. Dirk knew everything, even that he was being used. But he kept quiet, all for your sake. Dirk, why do you always... Well, Queen Amara, Dirk, the one whose love for you never wavered all these years... Are you going to betray him now in death? D Dirk, I... Oh! Whoa. This cannot be. I refuse to accept it. Queen Amara, are you ready to confess to your crime? Gotcha. I can deny it no longer. The truth is, it was I, Amara Sigatar Karine, who slew Minister Inga. That's preposterous! Why? Why? He should be on the floor after that. Yeah. This is beyond belief! Mother, why would you... Forgive me, Nayuta. I never wished to cause you such sorrow, but I had no choice. It was the only way. The only way? Why? So in the end, Queen Amara and Dirk, I suppose this means that they were unable to reconcile while he was still alive. I don't think the state of the kingdom or the incidents of the past would have allowed that. They were prisoners of their shared history, so to speak. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> Queen Amara, there's something I need to know. You had staged a near-perfect crime. So why did you bring this pendant into the tomb with you? 
You should have known it would come back to haunt you. I do not really understand it myself. Okay, so the queen did it. Amar is the killer. What a twist. I thought the evil queen was responsible for everything. Yeah. And now the country is still going to be ruled by an evil queen. Unless we find out that the evil queen did something bad. Mm. Alright. I can't understand it myself. I had nearly been assassinated by my own husband, yet I could not bear any hatred towards him. I was unable to discard this or part with it for even a short time. As with Dirk, I have never stopped loving my husband for the past 23 years. Mother. So, she really believes it, huh? That Dirk tried to assassinate her? Pink Butterfly Pendant updated into the court record. Why does she believe that? Your Majesty, is it not time? Time to declare Dirk innocent? I would ask that you do this for my beloved, who now dwells in the Twilight Realm. Yes, very well then. Your Eminence, Prosecutor Sadmati, if you have no further objections. Ah, uh, this cannot be, my mother. I have no objections. Dirk, I did it. I finally did it. I proved your innocence. But... Very well, then. Being that Queen Amara yet lives, we can no longer charge the accused with the assassination that never came to fruition. As for the murder of Minister Inga, the truth has been laid bare for all to see. Therefore, we will now pass judgment upon the accused, Mr. Dirk Sadmari. Hold it! Oh, sorry. Hold it! Y your benevolence? What's going on? I... I cannot accept this! I'm sorry, what? Is something the matter, your benevolence? Queen Amara is lying! It makes no sense! Queen Amara would not have killed my father! What's with her all of a sudden? Is this some sort of lingering affection towards her nanny? Rafa, uh, what's going on? Speak the truth, Queen Amara! Did you really kill my father? Yes, there is no mistake. She has confessed to the crime, thereby cleaning, clearing the accused of all suspicion. As such, I see no new. Ah, as such, I see no need to continue these proceedings. I have a Pilates class. B -b -b Born dead, Hornhead. Are you going to let this stand? What are, what are you talking about? Dirk's been proven innocent, and he's about to be declared not guilty. Even so, something doesn't feel right. Apollo, if you have any doubts, now's the time to raise them. After all, the courtroom is a place for finding the whole truth. But it's all up to you, kid. There are definitely things that don't quite add up. Does this mean that the whole truth hasn't been brought to light yet? Should I push to continue this trial? I guess. has to be the, the evil queen. There's no way. Amara might be a little crazy, but... Yeah, I think she's covering for her sister. She loves her sister that much, huh? Push to continue. I think she's afraid of her sister. Your Majesty, I have a feeling we haven't discovered the whole truth. And the only way we'll ever find it is to continue this trial. Hornhead! Very well then. Will the defense please tell us this? What important fact about this case has yet to come to fruition? A motive! Hmm. 
I'm the queen. There's something I still don't understand. What was your motive for killing Justice Minister Inga? That is a fair question. One that I shall now answer. It was the few for the future of this kingdom that I slew Inga Karkul Karain. To avert further tragedy, his death was an unfortunate necessity. Further tragedy? Over the past several years, Minister Inga had been rapidly expanding his power. He had established the secret police and was relentless in his pursuit of the insurgents. He even had the overwhelming support of the people, but still he was not satisfied. Hungry for more power, he began planning a coup at d'etat. You mean his plot involving the Founder's Orb, which led to Maya Fey's abduction? Yes, Minister Inga planned to use the Orb to gain access to great spiritual power. After which he would assassinate Garan and usurp the throne. His uh, machinations were reminiscent of the terrible tragedy 23 years ago. And as one affected by that incident, Amara vowed to never allow a repeat of such events. Yes, and the Holy Mother delivered unto me the perfect opportunity to fulfill my vow. Security amid the courtyard was rather light due to the rite of channeling, and Inga had barricaded himself in the tomb with his hostage away from prying eyes. I knew I would never again have such a perfect opportunity, so... At 2 p.m., during the rite of channeling, I slipped into the tomb and slew the minister. What? My manlet! Apollo, what's going on with your jewelry? Yep, it's tingling. It seems that this trial is far from over. Queen Amara, I believe you're still hiding something. Huh? But if you want to keep on playing this game of hide and seek, then let's start with that last statement you made. Hmm? If I must. At 2 p.m. during the ride of channeling, I slipped into the tomb and slew the minister. I slipped into the tomb and slew the minister. Where is she moving? Well, you already checked her mouth a lot. We could check her hands. I was looking at her hands the entire time. You see anything? Maybe her arms? Maybe when she says slew the minister. Get back up to the... Oh, never mind. I guess you can check her arms. I mean, I'm looking intently, babe, but yeah, I, I don't see I don't anything see on her either. fingers. All right, let, let's do body oh. part by body part. All right. I'm going to go look at uh, her left arm. I can't imagine she could twitch that. I can twitch my arm. I can't. I can't twitch my arm. I have arm twitching powers. Well, you're one person in a million. I'm pretty special. The chat is saying a hand, but I don't see any hands moving. Well, her finger's up top. You're not focusing on those. Whoa! Oh, there's a finger! Do it. Confirm. Gotcha! I got your wiggly finger!
manlet powers. Bracelet power. All right. Queen Amara. You're not very comfortable talking about two o'clock right of channeling, are you? I can tell because a finger on your left hand twitched almost, uh... Imperceptibly. Imperceptibly when you did. Oh? And that pose you make. Is there something about your chest that makes you nervous? Whatever do you mean? The murder occurred at 2 p.m. And I'm pretty positive Amara was in the tomb at that time. So then why is she so self-conscious about her chest when she talks about the right? The right of channeling, huh? Didn't Albie snap a picture of it? Queen Amara, I have here a picture of the right of channeling. It was secretly taken by a certain individual. Objection! Objection! Such insolence! Uh-oh. I would have the perpetrator's name at once! Nah, <laughs> sorry. No can do. You see, I, um, I just happened to find it on the ground, so... Do you take me for a fool? Uh, how about we discuss the photo's origin a little later, because right now... There's something much more pressing at hand. I believe this photo merits further examination. I just wish there was more to see in it than darkness and more darkness. We might be able to make out a few more details with some image adjustments. Let's ask Emma if she can help. Bailiff, please summon Detective Sky to the Hall of Justice. Every time I say the Hall of Justice, I think Justice League. Like, every single time. Here you are. I was able to obtain a much clearer image by raising the brightness. Ah. What's that right there? An injury? No, wait. I think it's a burn scar. Oh my god. I knew it. Somebody who's burnt. The only person who's able to do the channeling of people is Amara. The other queen can't do it. So she's been... Why would she be covering for her sister this Because week? she's been lying to her sister that somebody's been trying to kill her, so... Garan took power, but the other the other person is still responsible for doing all the channeling. So Garan has never channeled anyone. I don't think Garan has ever channeled anybody, no. I think she's just a crazy dictator. Wait a second. Your eminence. You don't have a burn scar like that on your uh chest. Upper area. <laughs> That's what you get for showing too much cleavage. How dare you? How dare you not put on a shirt? I am wearing it. A... It counts as a shirt. <laughs> if you say so, you do rewrite the laws. What's going on here? If the person in this photo isn't Queen Garan, then who is it? It is Queen Amora! The nanny! Who's also Queen Amora. Alright. Queen Amara, the person in this photo isn't Queen Garan. It's you posing as her, isn't it? Um. Um. Burn mark. Da 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 da. Time code. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, says Garan. My eyes are up. My eyes are up here! <laughs> the two of you look quite similar, but that's no surprise considering you're sisters. Mm. Oh, wow, they are similar. Even the shape and position of your facial tattoos are almost exactly the same. Almost. And you are both capable of channeling spirits. Or are you? Therefore, it would have been easy for you to impersonate Queen Garan. Yeah, facial tattoos? That would hurt. I thought that was just dirt. I thought that was just makeup. Yeah, or makeup, yeah. Exactly. Ah! Alright. Queen Amara! 
You have a burn scar on your chest, don't you? Please remove your, um, mandala so we can see what's behind it for ourselves. I will not remove my shirt! I mean, oh, mandala, sure. Uh-oh. Whoa. Oh, burn mark! Look! It's her burn mark! It's the exact same burn scar as the one in the photo! I don't understand, but I can't stop standing! <laughs> I knew it! So, so the person in the photo really is... Yeah, it's Queen Amara! This is absurd! Are you suggesting they... I, I mean... <coughs> Dirty mind? This is absurd! Are you suggesting they switch places? Amara's confession earlier was uh, also false? Mother! What is the meaning of this? Don't you see? This changes everything! We know for a fact that this photo was taken at 2 p.m. The exact time the murder took place. But, um... That would mean Queen Amara couldn't possibly have committed this crime. That's right. Exactly. She now has a ironclad alibi. So Minister Inga's killer couldn't have been Queen Amara. That's correct. I'm afraid I no longer follow the defense. It is not Queen Amara who channeled the minister and accused uh, to the stage. What I'm blah. sorry, my mind's elsewhere. Was it not Queen Amara who channeled the minister and accused to stage the crime? Right. Yeah, that's a fact that's not changed. We have evidence placing her at the scene of the crime, and Dirk could have only been there in the tomb if she was channeling him, which means. While Queen Amara did use the spirit channeling to stage the crime, she didn't kill Minister Inga. His real killer is someone else. Surprise! <gasps> What's going on here? Is there mercifulness covering for someone? Nani? If Queen Amara is not the killer, then who is it? Isn't it obvious? Yeah, the person who used that photo as their alibi. Why was the rite held in the first place if Queen Garan wasn't going to perform it? Who was behind the two sisters switching places and for what reason? The answer to these questions, along with the establishment of Queen Amara's alibi, obliterates a certain someone else's alibi! Why that's... Is this some kind of joke? No, your majesty. I could never joke about something so grave. The only one who seemed to have a perfect alibi at the time of the murder was... Her Eminence! Koran Sigatar Koran! You said my name wrong! Well, lady, didn't your sister Queen Koran ask you to pose as her? And perform the rite of channeling? I... And didn't she also have your drive? Uh, and uh, pff, wow! And didn't she also have you drive Dirk's spirit from Miss Faye's body, and then stage the crime to make it look like he was the minister's killer? <sighs> and at two p.m. while you were performing the rite of channeling as Queen Garan, didn't she kill Minister Inga while disguised as Dirk? Well, well, your mercifulness? Uh. It's no use trying to hide it any longer. You need to tell us the truth now! Mother? The Justice Minister, Inga's true killer is... Oh my oh, god! Oh my gosh! She got what? killed! Mother! No! But... Uh, I really did it! Your eminence, my life is yours! Isn't he one of Garan's royal guards? 
Hmm. Queen Amara! Bailiff, arrest the guardsmen! Mother! Grand couldn't have... Could she? Her own sister? Someone call for an ambulance! Quickly now! We mustn't lose the queen again! Holy crap! Oh, wow. Why would a guard even do that? Why would a guard... Why would a guard go and do what the evil queen said? Doesn't make any sense. Because that's stupid to do that because if the evil queen got charged with murder then she could be put away and then they'd have a better queen in her place. Why would anyone want that evil person to rule over you them? You gotta be kidding me! Well, now she kind of will have an idea of who really started the fire to try to kill her all those years ago. I would, I would, I, I would bet the sister is the one behind everything. Yeah! High Court of Karine accused Lobby. We're lucky the ambulance made it in time. But we've been forced into a recess for now while things get straightened out. I can't believe what just happened! Tell me about it. You think Garan put that guard up to it? If she did, she's gonna regret it. No one gets away with something like that on my watch. Poor Queen Amara! Your benevolence. Any news on her condition? She is undergoing surgery at the hospital as we speak. They are giving her a 50-50 chance of survival, though. At Garan, justice will be served. Why? Why did this happen? Oh, just as we were finally reunited! Oh, Queen Amara! Um, what is it about being re reunited? Huh? Oh, it's nothing! Right. How are you, Horned Head? How are you doing? Dirk Sadmati was your father in all but blood, after all. Um... Thank you for your concern, your benevolence, but I'm fine. Right now, I still have a trial to see through, so that's what I'm going to focus on. Hornhead, you are sturdier than your stature lets on. Watch him be related to Rafa. Oh. Just don't overdo it, okay, Apollo? Yeah, Athena's the only one he's not related to. Ugh, Dirk. That was a real shocker, all right. I can't believe the dragon is dead. Dats. Dats! Why is Dad sitting here? He could be literally arrested. He should literally be in hiding. Oh my gosh. Just hanging out. How much is left of this game? I don't know! I can't do this! This is so intense! What is it? I'm just standing there and then shot. It's crazy. About to reveal everything and then bang! We have to expose the queen! That's right, Don! We do need to do that! <sighs> Say, uh, AJ, I was wondering, when uh, Dirk disappeared after I freed him, that's because uh, Mara turned back into herself, right? Yeah, I suppose so, but I don't know if it was because Dirk's spirit willed it, or if it was part of Garan or Mara's plan. Hmm. Uh, man, our dream of revolution. Now what are we gonna do? Is this it? Don't give up yet. There's a very good chance that Garan is a real culprit. <laughs> Don't give up yet. There's a real good chance that Garan is the real culprit in all of this. And if we can prove her guilt in court... Hey, you're right. That could be just what we need. The dream lives on. Yeah, it does. Well, uh, you know what that means, AJ. The fate of the revolution rests surely on, squarely on your shoulders, kid. <laughs> All in a day's work, I guess. Who am I kidding? That's a ton of pressure. But if that's what Dirk gave his life for, so I have to do this for him. The Honorable Rebel Dirk. I would have loved to have spoken with him while he yet lived. Really? Oh! Why, why not? I mean, he seemed like... 
quite an interesting man. Did she bump her head or something earlier? That's right. The trial's about to resume. The defense is to report to the courtroom at once. Already? After what just happened? Yeah, the first thing Garan will do is respond to the last accusation. So you better stay on your toes, Apollo. I will, Mr. Wright. Ready or not, Garan, here comes justice! How's this gonna work? You know what I bet? If... If it turns out, I don't know who's Rafa's real mom is, but if it turns out it's not that mean Garan lady, I bet Rafa will be like, thank God. Like, this whole time I have not gotten along with her, and I have been trying to please her this whole time, and she's always been a jerk to me, and I am so happy she's not my real mom. That's what I would be like. Because she's been a jerk to me this entire time. <clears throat> Let us resume today's proceedings. Huh? Where's Neyuda? I must offer my apologies. I never imagined a royal guardsman would do such a thing. What? He wasn't acting under your orders? How dare you cast such suspicion upon our eminence? It is quite all right, your majesty. Suspicion is only natural under such circumstances. But rest assured, he acted alone, for I knew nothing of his plans, of course. I don't believe that for a second. Now then, your majesty, regarding the murder of my husband, Minister Inga, I would like to offer a new possibility. A new possibility, you say? Hmm, indeed. For during the break, the real killer confessed to me. What? Bailiff, call the witness to the stand. The real killer confessed? What she got up her sleeve this time? I have a really bad feeling about this. Probably a random guard that you're forcing. That's what I'm betting. It's going to be a guard. What? 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 You can't be kidding. What? He's the one who confessed? <coughs> oh my god. Prosecutor, you're the real killer? Mm. I questioned him during the recess as I felt that Amara had been covering for someone. So it was that he finally confessed his crime to me. Nayuda, you hadn't... You didn't really do it, did you? <clears throat> Why would he do this? Her eminence speaks the truth. It was I who killed the Justice Minister, Inga. No, you N did not. Nayuda! This is like a soap opera. Yep. This is unbelievable. Peace, everyone. Prosecutor, are you absolutely certain about this? A confession of this nature is grave indeed. Yes, I am certain. For I killed him by my own hand. <laughs> At last, the real killer has been revealed. How are we supposed to respond to this? Nayuda, retract your confession! Now! Mr. Justice, it is not yet time for your cross-examination. Who cares about that? Admit it! I mean, it was Queen Garan who put you up to this! She forced you into giving a confession, didn't she? You are out of line, Mr. Justice. Learn some self-restraint. Ah, uh, but... Or do you have something that might prove that I did not commit this murder. I, uh, that is, um... What do you think you're doing, you idiot? Hmm. <laughs> Truly, the truth can set us free. It looks like Garan got him 
to him somehow. I definitely didn't see this coming. Neuta, why are you doing this? Why would you sacrifice even your life to do Garan's bidding? Whatever the case may be, prosecutor, your testimony, please. Okay. Neuta, we don't want you to die. I mean, he's a jerk, but... <clears throat> this is so sad. Nice. And there is no more popcorn, honey. Did you just... Wow. I'm sorry. Wow. I was raised in a barn. Mm-hmm. Ma! <clears throat> My head. Sorry. Ma! Uh... All right, let's continue. Sorry. I could not remain silent while her eminence fell under suspicion for this crime. It was I who murdered the Justice Minister. He had to die for the future of Karine. I consider it divine judgment cast upon a fiend who sought to assassinate our monarch. My mother was simply covering for me. I'm ashamed I let her go so far for my sake. Mm-hmm. You do not understand what you're doing. You do understand what you're doing, don't you, fool? You're sentencing... You're sentencing yourself to death if you're found guilty. If that is the court's verdict, then so be it. I must obey the law above all else. The law or the queen? Objection! Objection! Enough! This blather has nothing to do with the witness's testimony. Uh-huh. Please address any issues you may have during the cross-examination defense. You know the rules. Oh, I will. I'm going to blow this problematic testimony to smithereens. The queen is, I am the law. Yeah. <sighs> My Yuda's confession. Sadness. Hmm. All right, here we go. I could not remain silent while her eminence fell under suspicion. Hold it. No. You kept quiet all this time even though you were the real killer? Yes, and I accept that I've done can never be forgiven. But I never imagined suspicion would fall upon the queen herself. Prosecutor Sadmati has placed the future of our kingdom above his own life. He is taking responsibility for his crime and is showing his loyalty to the queen and country. Without a monarch on the throne, Karine would be plunged into chaos. I could never wish that upon my homeland. That is why I had to let the truth be known. What a bunch of baloney. All right, I'm going to ask you again, Neyuda. Did you really kill Minister Inga? Yes. No matter how many times you ask, Mr. Justice, the truth is immutable. Yeah, there is another queen that could take the throne. Rafa. <coughs> What's saying. wrong with uh, the, the original queen? Oh. If she survives. Yeah, she lives. But Rafa is old enough, but she can't channel spirits. Yeah, but she could still rule or something. Mm-hmm. It was I who murdered the mister. Uh, mi it was I who murdered the minister. Oh. Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry. It's not too late, you idiot. You can still retract your confession before the verdict is rendered. There is no retracting the truth. One either tells it or does not tell it. It is that simple. Ugh. Why do you always have to be so stubborn, Neuda? I hate how you would never listen to reason once you get all like this. I think I'll need some, uh, evidence before we can get him to retract his confession. Either that or we'll have to force a retraction out of him by appealing to what's in his heart. It's not going to be easy either way. Prosecutor, what was the motive for your crime? I had a reason enough to kill the minister. Okay. He had to die for the future of our kingdom. Hold it! Uh-huh. By... What do you mean by that? 
Minister Inga was planning to assassinate the Queen in a coup. I had to nip his evil in the bud, even if it cost me the purity of my soul. So you're saying the death of another is a response... Uh, so you're saying the death of another is a reasonable price to pay to protect the Queen? Long have we remained independent under the authority of our spirit medium queens. We command the people's awe and respect with the power to commune with the dead. So confusing. <laughs> yeah. Without such a monarch, our kingdom would lose its standing in the world, of course. I mean, you'd just be a different type of country. You could become a you could become democracy. a democracy, or you could just become a non-spirit channeling monarchy. Mm, that's true. But if spirit channeling is so important, why did it have? Bleh. But if spirit channeling is so important, why did you have the queen perform the right? I'm afraid my elder sister is quite, quite capricious. She would fulfill her duty only when the desire struck, as sporadic as that was. It was therefore something she did on a whim. There was no meaning behind it. A meaningless whim, huh? It's hard to press a statement like that. Now, if I may return to my testimony. I consider a divine judgment cast upon a fiend who sought to assassinate our monarch. Hold it. Divine judgment, huh? Yes, I rendered judgment upon the minister on behalf of my holy mother. Are you saying the holy mother guided you? No, her holiness would never condone killing in her name, regardless of the circumstances. As such, I believe my defiled soul will be damned to hell. But I do not regret what I have done. I willingly sacrifice my soul to protect this kingdom's future. Ah, uh, snap out of it already, you dumb dumb! So his motive comes from a place of faith, huh? Why does that sound completely credible when it's coming from him? Well, Amara expressed a similar motive. As for her mercifulness, she is truly deserving of her title. My mother was simply covering for me. I am ashamed. So you killed Minister Inga and Queen Amara staged the crime? Is that how it went? Precisely. My mother is as clever as she is kind. She sought to conceal my crime by taking all the guilt upon herself. Yet another lie. I need to poke a hole in his testimony, but how? Nayuda, could it be you? He didn't even know that his mom was alive. <clears throat> he didn't know Nana was uh, really his mom. You didn't realize that the nanny was actually your mom, did you? That is not as strange as you might think. Much time had passed since we had last met, after all. Right. 23 years ago, huh? When Dirk saved you... When Dirk saved her after the supposed assassination attempt? No, Mr. Justice. It was 15 years ago that Dirk abducted my mother. What? That's weird. Are you sure about that? I remember it clearly. I was around 10 years old at the time. Nayuda, please add that to your last uh, statement to your testimony, please. 15 years ago. So then, <clears throat> a child by the two of them would have been 14. Because you're a year in the womb. What? It takes a year to to have a bun in the oven. How old is Rafa? Nine months is almost a year. If she's 14, then that would add up. Oh my gosh! Then this is been, a soap opera! Then she would have been Dirk's daughter. Rafa's his actual sister! Nani! Mm, Dirk and Dirk and Amara must be their both their parents. My gosh. Okay. Uh, uh. All right. Um. So, I was reunited with my mother, Queen Amara, 15 years ago when Dirk abducted her. Okay. Hold it. 15 years ago, huh? 
That's around the time I left for the United States. I mean, Japan! What happened after Dirk <laughs> helped the Queen Amar escape? <laughs> Agents of the Crown pursued us relentlessly, so we had to live a life on the run. Mr. Justice, I know that Dirk sent you away so that you would not be caught up in that life we led. I see. Thanks, I guess. Can't believe it's been 15 years. Apollo, there's something about Neuda's testimony. Yeah, that discrepancy's a bit hard to miss. But... That discrepancy's a bit hard to miss, but what could it mean? So Neuda got to meet his mother, huh? Back when Dirk rescued her. That's what he's saying, anyway. It's news to me, though. I had already been sent away by that point. Okay, now that I've dragged more testimony out of him, what can I do with it? Wait, so he knew his mom was alive. Uh... Japan of Fornia. Okay. I was reunited with my mother, Queen Amara, 15 years ago when Dirk abducted her. I guess you could try presenting that uh, photo of his mom. I don't know. Try it. Why did they wait so long for the to the for the trial to get this intense? I kind of wish it wasn't in, this intense the whole time because there has been a lot of dialogue going on in this trial, like writing down people the color of people's hats and watching the veranda and. So all these details of the case are super... Because this was originally the climax of... The DLC came later. Oh, okay. The special case came later. This was the end of the original mm -hmm. game. And then Capcom yeah. added the DLC for the special case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oops. We Wait. should probably save. <sighs> I feel like they could have cut out half of this game and it would have still been fine. <clears throat> I don't know which half I would have cut out, though. I have a feeling we're at the end game. There's no way that there's another hour left of this. Or maybe there is. I don't know. I don't know. Objection! Music stopped. Got him. You're saying that Dirk made off with the Queen 15 years ago? But that's strange, because I heard something very different from Dirk. He said they ran off together 23 years ago. That is impossible. I know for a fact it was 15 years ago. Well, I have evidence that contradicts your statement. How do you explain this photo? Dirk said it was taken 23 years ago. He said that? He did. But if we take that as what you just said is fact, then there's something in this photo that doesn't make any sense. Somebody subscribed right over Neuda's face. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. Oh, what? Neuda's angry. Hmm, this isn't making any sense to me, so I suppose I should ask. <laughs> what does not make sense if this photo is only 15 years old? The baby? But wouldn't it be the law book? Find the baby! Everyone says the baby. Baby! Nayuda, this discrepancy may not be directly related to this case, but I don't think we can simply overlook it either. Dirk said the baby in the photo was you, but that doesn't make any sense if the photo's only 15 years ago. After all, you said you were around 10 then, right? <sighs> Oh, he's definitely sweating bullets over this one. Apollo, if this baby isn't Neuda... Wait, you don't think... Did Queen Amara have another child while she was on the run? What? Ugh. And just what if that child were being held hostage? Neuda, is that why you obey Queen Garan's every command? You presume too much. 
Oh, that's why the queen was trying to take the rap as well. To protect this other child. Oh, Rafa. A child born 15 years ago. Hmm. It would have to be someone who's around 14 or 15 years old now. This is just a guess. But I believe I know someone who fits the bill. This is also explains the strange behavior. <clears throat> this is a child who was born to Dirk and Queen Amara 15 years ago. Rafa! All those strange statements she kept making, now they all make sense. Prosecutor Sadmati, may I ask you something? Of course, Your Benevolence. I am. Um, I have been meaning to ask you this since yesterday. Did you know about uh, Queen Amara and. and about me? From where did you hear such a thing? From Mother, and only yesterday. Rafa was carrying on about telling the truth to the people, so I told her. I told her what the truth really was. For it is up to a mother to discipline her child. I see. I... I... I cannot accept this! Is something the matter, your benevolence? Queen Amara is lying! It makes no sense! Queen Amara would not have killed my father! Why? Why did this happen? Oh, just as we were finally reunited. Yeah, that's sus. Oh, Queen Amara! That is super sus. Now I see, Nayudo, why you do what you're told. Shut up. The other child born to Dirk and Queen Amara was... Mr. Justice, I believe I know what you're about to say. But I cannot allow you to name an innocent soul as the child of those terrible sinners. I thought you might try to stop me. After all, simply revealing this information endangers who you have been trying to protect. Ugh. I think this should make it clear what I'm talking about. This chink in your armor is the reason why you fear for your sibling's reputation. <clears throat> um. uh, I have no idea where he's going with this, actually. Present. Well, what's the reason everyone turned against uh, Dirk and Amara? Uh, I guess we can look at the evidence and see what there is. And he goes, no, it's Albie's statement. There's an, oh wait, what's that? File containing... Arson incident involving Amara's private residence. Amara was slipped a sleeping pill and perished in the fire. The lighter found at the scene had Dirk's fingerprints on it. Apollo's roving musician father got caught up in the incident and lost his life. He was struck in the head by the culprit. The victim's passport and pictures of him were burned up in the fire without knowing his real name. No divination seance could be performed. The son of the terrorist, Dirk Neyuda, was expelled from the royal family. The idea that the sins of the father are visited upon the child is deeply rooted in the minds of Karainese people. Oh, wow. I know why they burnt, they burnt his father's picture and name so no one could ever channel him. To figure out what happened, because he was the witness to what happened. Oh my gosh. But there is somebody that knows um, Apollo's dad's real name. He has a photo of his dad. Dirk gave him a photo of his father. So the father could be channeled. That's why Dirk gave him a father. Well, also so he knew what his dad looked like. Oh, that's like. creepy. Yeah, we're going to have to channel Apollo's real father. Wow. The musician. So that we know what happened. Presents... Uh, file. Yeah, we're gonna have to channel his dad. 
Omar's assassination file? I think so. That has a lot of info on it. A lot of darning evidence right there. So, Amara's assassination files, what we're supposed to present? Or the law book? In the name of her eminence, those who would support criminals will be deemed just as guilty. I would present the assassination file. I could probably save first. Why would the law book have anything to do with it? What's the chink in your armor? The chink in your armor is this. Take that! And that is? A file under a... A file full of information that Dirk collected on what happened 23 years ago. Or uh, a particular note right now is what's written here. The sins of the father are visited upon his children. This deeply held idea is why you were expelled from the royal family. Which means it would, wouldn't bode well for your sibling either. If she were revealed to be Dirk's daughter... Ugh. You become a prosecutor to bring down Queen Garan. But at some point you came to serve the very regime you despised. And that was because the Queen found this chink in your armor. That's how she came to use your sister against you. I... I... Hold it! Nayuta! Have you been keeping this secret all this time? Holy cow. Have you been trying to protect me? Um, Rafa, now you're not protected anymore. You are an innocent party to all of this. I live only to safeguard the law and serve the country and queen from which it flows. One such as you, who is destined to ascend the throne, need not fret over one such as I. No! I cannot accept that! Why would you... What you say is, it's malarkey! Don't you ever care what happens to you, Naoda? Before country, queen, law, and everyone's future, my personal feelings are of no consequence. That is why I resigned myself to my fate. I know I must accept the status quo without any thoughts or change. Spoken like a true prosecutor and patriot. I shall continue to rule Karine until the day Rafa succeeds me. For that is what is best for our kingdom. I know, Your Eminence. Yours is no small sacrifice, Nayuta. But I promise this in exchange for your life. The child shall remain safe. And the kingdom shall prosper. That is all I can ask for with my meager existence. Nayuda, you idiot, is this really the new you? Resigning yourself to the will of another and killing any hope you held for the future? No! Nayuda I knew would never let himself be turned into this. Now, your majesty, if you would hand down your verdict. Objection! You can say you're simply accepting your fate, Nayuda, but I know that deep down there's still hope in your heart. Oh, Holy Mother, preserve me. It's the kind of hope that preserves through the most desperate of times, and it's what binds you, me, Dirk, together as a family. I know because this was demonstrated to me that you haven't lost all hope yet. Uh. Oh. Wonder how much is left of this case. I'm uh, getting a little lightheaded. I think there's gonna be a lot left to it. Are you serious? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Mm hmm. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, I think we'll do Dirk's badge tomorrow, guys, because I have a feeling that we'll have to do... Rafa will channel something. Uh, maybe we'll even have, like, Apollo's dad, like... Yeah, there's got to be at least an hour or an hour and a half left, so we're going to save that for tomorrow. 
So this will be our cliffhanger today, because I'm I'm incredibly lightheaded from doing all those characters. Cliffhanger. <sighs> that was a lot of stuff. Lot, a 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 lot of stuff. The queen got shot. We find out that Neyuda is the brother of Rafa. Wow. That's so much stuff. It really is. Okay. Oh. No uh, wonder Neyuda has no personality and is always sad. Well, yeah, his personality because he's been used by the, uh, the queen for who knows how long. Oh. Seriously messed up. I'm surprised he's not more depressed. I'd be kind of depressed, too. Alright, so anyway, guys and gals, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Your next episode of um, Ace Attorney will happen, provided we get 1,000 views on this episode. Um, we're ending the stream at about 700 views, so that means by tomorrow, if you guys want another episode of this, um, 800, 900, 1,000, 300 views by tomorrow morning. Um, remember, as soon as this video is archived, it counts as a new view. So you have a view from watching this as a live stream, and then the however many of you people watched um, will count as a new view when it's archived as a VOD. So, but I'm going to grab um, something to eat so that I can kind of deal with my headache uh, so I can do the Lego thing, and then I think Amber is going to do your 11 o'clock stream tonight. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, but thank you guys so much. I already said that. Wow, I'm repeating stuff. Um, yeah. Hmm. Thanks so much, everyone, for watching. Really appreciate that. Thanks for the super chats and highlighted messages. Thanks for all the awesome comments and help in the chat. And we'll see you guys tomorrow with more Ace Attorney. And we'll see you guys in about 10 minutes for the next stream, which will be LEGO uh, DC Super Villains. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. God bless. Happy gaming. See you guys on the next stream. Yep. Good luck. Uh, good luck getting a thousand views, guys. You only need to get 300 views to count for a thousand.